Now thinking about how to talk about size when you're looking at groove welds. First of all, if you intend the weld to go all the way through, either all from one side or coming in from two sides, you don't say anything about depth or size. You just put the symbol and that means full penetration. That weld goes all the way through. Occasionally, especially if you have some real thick material, you don't want to go to the expense and heat generation of full penetration, so you want only partial penetration. Uh, if you look at these AWS examples, I think that's helpful. You can see on the right of this slide is AWS. You can see that the first number is the depth of the groove preparation. That's how deep they've cut that V. The second number in parentheses is the depth of the actual weld material. Here is AWS talking about what these various places on the groove weld mean. Uh, we're going to come back to root opening at the end of these few slides. Here's the groove angle. At what angle does the fabricator cut that preparation? Here again is AWS talking about uh, depth of preparation and depth of weld itself. Here they are again. Notice how in this example on the bottom, these sizes indicate that actually these two weld materials overlap each other some. That's okay. On your, you have a short quiz about uh, weld symbols and one of the questions is about root opening. So I just want to point out that root opening is a gap between the two plates. In the example at the top, these two plates have a space between them of a sixteenth of an inch. And where do you call that out on the symbol? You put it in the middle of the symbol lines. So in here means root opening. It means how far apart are those plates. Here in the second example, uh, the three-sixteenths kind of goes in the middle of that bevel groove symbol and it means again root opening. There's a gap between those two plates of three-sixteenths. Here in let's look at example E where we have a V weld and we want those two plates to be an eighth of an inch apart. That eighth of an inch is the root opening and so we put an eighth in the middle of the weld symbol there. Finally, the angle. So the angle is, you might say, in between the two plates and therefore the angle callout is in the middle of the weld symbol. Here in number B, here's a V weld that has a 50 degree angle, so they've put the 50 degrees sort of in the middle of that V callout. In the third example, they are showing us how you can have a different angle on each side. So they have, and notice carefully, 65 degrees is the angle on the top side of the plate. That's the arrow side of the plate, which is the symbol underneath the arrow. So the 65 degrees went under the arrow, indicating arrow side. The 90 degree angle was on the far side and so they have put the 90 degree call out above the leader line, meaning far side. 